presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to send text to only the stage screen in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're curious about how to do this, you've had uh, your choir director say, hey, can we put the words there but not on the screens for the congregation? Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that stuff so that you can see all the new tutorials as they come out. So there are several hacky ways to do this, and I'm not really going to talk about that um, because since at least ProPresenter 5, it might have gone back to 3, um, there is a feature built into ProPresenter that it's its only job. That's all it has to do in life is show text on the stage screen only. So let's do that, and um, I'll talk to you a little bit about um, how to invoke it, how to get it started, all that fun stuff. So let's head over to my computer, and let's get to a, um, a song. So I've messed with that one a lot. I need to re-log into my Multitracks account. Okay, this is probably a good one. So, if I click on that, here, I still had my key on from earlier. So, if I click on that, this is a preview of the audience screen. So, we see that that changes. And if I go down to my stage screen one, um, let me first... Go ahead and change it to just kind of a normal layout, not a mirror, but a normal one. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's showing current slide and next slide. So very straightforward. So what if this was a song like they call them anthems, performed songs, um, special music, something like that where... You wanted the words up on the stage screen, the people for uh, the screen for people that are leading, but you did not want the congregation to see those lyrics. Well, you can turn off the layer. You could, using looks, you could drag the um, the text box off. All that's true, but this is the feature and how to use it. So, what you can do is, there is a keyboard shortcut, so I want you to watch in this vicinity, we'll see a, uh, a message about that. So, it is Command-0. Notice it says Stage Only. So, I'm going to click to Amazing Love here. You'll see that that changes, and now let's go to the preview of the regular and it still has this on. So whenever you invoke it, it's like you no longer have control of the main screen. You only have control of the stage screen. So whatever was up before stays up. So if I remove this, you do still have the option of clearing the slides layer, but that's about it. So notice it still says stage only. I click on that. Uh, let's go to this one so it's really obvious and go back to stage screen one and notice it's still advancing. One more time. So still advancing. But what if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut? Well, there is another option and that is you can add an action. So right click here Go down to Add Actions, Stage, oops, that's Layouts. Sorry, I forgot that they had um, split these off. So now let's go back to Add Action. Slide Destination is the one that we want. And notice there are two settings, Stage or Stage and Audience. So we're going to select Stage here. And down here, I'm going to select Stage and Audience. So, Add Action. 
slide destination, stage, and audience. It used to be that those were all on one slide, by the way, but no longer the case. So now let me, you can turn it off, by the way, just by clicking that. So now it is back to the normal way that it was. And just to show you, died he for me, and then here, died he for me, okay? So I'm gonna clear that out, and I'm gonna click on this one, which is the stage only action. So notice stage only shows there, and nothing shows here. And if we go back to stage screen, I can now advance and this will stay that way until I click on the stage and audience one. So if we go back here to screen, see, even if I click on the one after it, it's still there. But once I click on this one, from there on, it's normal. So that's how you can do that. Of course, you could add those two actions to macros if you use that a lot, and then just drag the macro on or have the macro in the macro list down here and click on it. You can also um, you can also use companion to have a button for that if you wanted to keyboard shortcut, really your options are, they're not limitless, but there's a lot of them. So that's the way to use what's built into ProPresenter to show lyrics or whatever, it'll do videos too, on the stage screen only. Assuming that you're not using the uh, stage screen app because that it'll do stage screen only but it won't do videos and such if you like this content then you'd probably love my pro presenter 7 quick start course so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick give me your name and email address and instead of charging you $29 for it I'll give it to you for free so that you can take it at your leisure until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.